Steve Bannon, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you for coming out Sky here. News. Thank you, thank you for coming here to Michigan to our border rally. Our pleasure. You are here yeah. to ask for private funding yes. to build the wall. Yes. Is that not in itself proof of President Trump's failure to get this job done to fulfill that campaign promise? It's not a failure. Remember, it is a process. He's got to fulfill it or essentially die trying. I mean, this is why he's lucky. He, he's called for something pretty extraordinary to call for an emergency order, to basically say, I'm calling this a crisis and I'm going to take other, other resources from Department of Defense and other places to get the Army Corps of Engineers down there is extraordinary in its own right. You say it's extraordinary what Donald Trump has done, but isn't it extraordinary because there is no crisis? This is fabricated. There's no emergency. It's absolutely, that's not this true. is that's fear not and true. loathing. That's, that's all about true. political we, gain. No, no, no. We have a massive crisis on our southern border. We have a crisis. Of, 2017, we, we record have, we, low illegal crossings. Hang on, hang on. Don't, don't give me all the happy talk spin numbers. Here's the, here's the reality. Facts. We have a, no. The facts are we have a failed narco state. Half of Mexico is run by the cartels. The but cartels the drugs traffic, aren't coming in across those borders. They're coming through the legal they, ports, uh, the they airports, Absolutely the ports. not. That's what the ones they catch are the ones that are coming across the border. Talk to the Border Patrol. Who are the number one people that ask for the wall? The Border Patrol and ICE. But and now, and now we're talking about Homeland Security saying in 2017 there were record low numbers of illegal crossings. You can't just discount that. No, no, no. We now have a bigger crisis on the border than we've ever had with drugs, with criminality, with the refugee problem, the migrant problem. The and this is a ticking time bomb. the statistics don't support That's that. That's absolutely not true. Let's move on, Russia. You're a witness of fact. I know there's a limit to what you can say, yeah. but you had time with Mueller. You've been questioned by Mueller. <laughs> yeah. You have a unique insight in that respect. So is it a hoax? Is it a witch hunt? Well, or is it a legitimate look, investigation? I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the person that argued, and it's been publicly stated, I argued against firing Comey. I thought it was stupid. Because I thought the Russian collusion thing's a joke. But the it's legitimacy of the investigation, you've seen it I said, from the, the inside. I said, I said, feel... I said from day one, if they name a special prosecutor, it is what it is. You're going to have to play by the rules. I think Bob Mueller is a, I think he's a very respectable guy. He's a, he's a combat veteran, Marine Corps veteran. He's renowned to the FBI. I think he's run this process. Now it's taken two years. I have said from day one, if Roger Stone and WikiLeaks is all you got on Russian collusion, you, you have nothing. Trump says no collusion. You said the Trump Tower meeting was treasonous. Are you concerned that Robert Mueller I don't think is going to say I, I that think, collusion no, went all no, the way to the top? No, absolutely. I don't think they'll find. I, I think that that, I think that meeting at the end of the day will end up being nothing burger. It looks like a nothing burger now. What they've got, to me, and all the thing they've got, they've got Roger Stone somehow not talking to Julian Assange. Well, they have a foreign adversary offering dirt on an opponent and the campaign saying, yes, please, bring no, it on. No, but I think, I if you look at it, I think it turned out to be one meeting, and I don't think it went anywhere from there. So, and, and, and you said it was treasonous he, at the time. Even, you used he, very strong and, language and who, about who that. Who even knows? Who, look, what I have, what, and I said, professionals like Paul Manafort should have known you'd never take a meeting like that. So you're saying right? it was wrong? It, it was stupid, okay? It was stupid. Does that make it criminal? No, far from it. Does it make well, it collusion? The collusion it's, thing, it's, you know, it's, arguably, it's, it's, listen, if it's this, not criminal, if, but this, will Robert if this, Mueller if this, say if, collusion if the, went to the top? Absolutely not. Absolutely. No way. So I don't Trump think, didn't know about that meeting? Of course not. he knew about no, that meeting. No, no, no way. You don't I, think no, he knew about no, it? No, no, I don't You've think he knew about it. You've been on the inside. Surely something like that would never be okay without... Oh no! The seal I, no, of no, 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 no! On the campaign, on the campaign, particularly before I got there, they were kind of running around at that time. Th these are such m marginal things to begin with, right? If that's what he's going to hang collusion on, that's a pretty thin read. So, who's his biggest threat? Which Democrat? I think the ones he should be least worried about are Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. I just don't think old news. That, the old news. I, listen, I think Kamala Harris and O'Rourke, at least in the package could potentially be the two best that gets this, that can mobilize the base and run it as a package, California and Texas. And I think that's where I ticket right now, a combo of Camilla Harris and O'Rourke could be very powerful. Now, here's could the beat Trump? It could, well, not could beat Trump. I, I, and here's why. I think at the end, when they weigh and measure with the, about being commander in chief and about do these people have the gravitas, I think on paper they look good. You're going to have to see how the campaign, the one thing the Democrats should be very nervous about, and I think that's why it's all the polling shows about Joe Biden. They would like to have some sort of centrist that relates to working class people, okay? That's what Biden represents. I think Biden peaks, I think his highest day is the day he announces. Who is more influential to Donald Trump in terms of Brexit, Nigel Farage or Theresa May? Oh, Nigel Farage. I think, listen, he... he what does that say about the special relationship? Well, he, by the way, when she came over, when Theresa May came over, Trump sat there and he totally says, listen, number one, overshoot the target on your deal because it'll come apart. You know, so overshoot the target. Number two, get on with it. 
You ought to be in terms agreed in six months. So is that and, why she's in this hang mess? On, she didn't on. listen and, to Trump? And, and number three, he told her, use every every error in your quiver, <clears throat> even if you have to do litigation. Later, she kind of laughed it off. She says, oh, she said to sue him. To be brutally frank about it, she's not terribly sophisticated, okay? I don't think she understood the complexity she was going into. And Trump did? I think Trump... Trump, Trump I, understood I, the complexities of Brexit more than Theresa May. I think Trump understood, as a deal guy, exactly what you have to do to put forward a process that doesn't leave you in three weeks to go with nothing. Would Boris Johnson make a good Prime Minister? I think Boris Johnson would make a good Prime Minister. Do you speak to him? I have not talked to him in a while, but I think Boris Johnson is a... I think Boris Johnson... you have spoken I think, to him. I think, yeah, definitely. I think Boris Johnson's a, a, a guy with big ideas. I think he's now the new recreated Boris Johnson that's lost 30 pounds and and looks very full. He's got a new haircut. He, he's a role model. Uh, no, I think Boris Johnson. A role model for you? <laughs> role, well, the way he's lost so much weight. Okay, yeah, right. It's a new, new, free creative right. uh, Boris Johnson. Inspiring in a way and I hadn't inspiring. expected to. Very hear. inspiring. Yeah. Okay. Um, some people <laughs> who follow you are white supremacists, are racists, with dangerous ideas. Does that concern you? First off, first Do you off, worry first, about first, that? first off, first off. I have done. I have done probably more than anybody to say the ethno nationalism are a bunch of screwballs. Whether they're neo Confederates, neo Nazis, all these guys are clowns. The ethno nationalists, the Golden Dawn guys, they have. To me, but they have. Some no, are drawn to you. They have no purpose in politics. They have no. But by the way, it's just like in Jeremy Corbyn, he's got all kind of crazy guys on the left. He can't help that, right? He, some of the guys he can help, but there's some guys on the left he can't help. It's the mainstream media that puts a camera in front of these people and gives them a platform. Do you miss the White House? No, 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 no. It's just, I took one year of my life, the camp, one, April, August to August. It's You're just not my thing. You're on a populist thing. crusade. Surely the best position to be in, to further that, no. is the Oval Office, no, not absolutely. a town hall no, in Detroit. No, no, absolutely not. This is, this is, I can go to Europe, I can go to Japan, I, I'm my own boss. I can, I can, I can work with the people I like, the people I think have a pot potential in the future. The White House is very hierarchical. Can he get reelected oh, without yeah, I think you? He does. Oh yeah, absolutely. He didn't need me. He didn't need me. He didn't mean. Didn't need me the first oh, time. Oh, that's very humble. I haven't heard you be quite so humble in the past. He didn't. He didn't need me. He, look, the best candidate we ever had. Would you go back if he asked? Hey, listen, he's got a great campaign team. I, I had my one shot. I'm out here doing my thing. I got five or six organizations. So if he called you up and said, Steve, I need you back on the 20th. I, I don't think. I, I don't no? think. I don't think I'm gonna get that call. So I don't want to speculate. I'm if not gonna did? get the call. I'm not gonna get that call. And he's gonna be fine without me. Steve Bannon, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for, and by the way, thank you for coming out here tonight. Thanks for having us.